Hello, good evening, and welcome back. Police clash with small group of anti-capitalist activists who target the Bank of England and London Stock Exchange on the same day. Are they actually anti-capitalist activists? To put a long story short, no, no they're not. Um, essentially, they're saying that you shouldn't get rich if other people have to suffer for it, and that isn't capitalism at all. What they're actually protesting against is government regulations and uh, people having the authority on or the, the monopoly on force, and therefore not allowing competition to take place, not allowing people to do what it is that they want with willing participants, and instead barring people from entry based on well, their own personal greed because they've been bought off, essentially. And it is not allowing an equal playing field so that people can do what they want, but instead enforcing people to do things and not allowing people to do other things um, just based on particular preferences. That is what they are against. Um, that is why they think they're against capitalism, because that's what they believe capitalism to be, even though of course it isn't. These problems come about from a larger government dictating what can and can't be done, uh, which is much closer to <laughs> communism than capitalism. <laughs> yes, I went there. But they're, they're not against capitalism. Actually, they really like it. But maybe that's just me being optimistic, because on the flip side you could say, well actually they want the monopoly on force, and they think they have the best ideas, and anybody who speaks out against them is either uh, insurgent, that they're trying to overthrow them, or just doesn't understand and therefore shouldn't be listened to, that they already have all the answers, therefore nobody else is worth listening to and should be stopped, depending on which way you want to take it. So the Green Anti-Capitalist Front staged two protests in the City of London on Friday. Group clashed with police at the Stock Exchange before Bank of England demonstration. A video shows officers shouting at activists to get back during the incident, and one clip appears to show a policeman being hit by a thrown item and falling down. Are they going to act against the Green activists? No, no, of course they're not, because for whatever reason, Boris Johnson seems to be on board with them. He is supposedly a conservative, and yet always wishes to fall in line with them, as shown by him being with David Attenborough, and of course most recently with not fighting the uh, rejection of Heathrow's third runway. You could say, well, he's been against it beforehand, but given that that then won the argument that it was Heathrow, not Gadwick, um, eh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think you're being too kind to say that it would be backsliding if he allowed it. So police have clashed with a group of anti-capitalist activists who target the Bank of England and London Stock Exchange today. I think calling them anti-capitalist, it's, it's never... A, it's never a good thing to label somebody by being anti-something else, because there isn't much of a movement to just be against something. More often than not, if not always, it is because they stand for a particular idea which is pertinent to themselves, and therefore they aren't anti-capitalist then, they are communist, hmm. or they're authoritarian. Because communists, and I think the mask slips very, very quickly when it comes to these people, and unbelievably quickly. Because they say, oh, it's communist, it's a commune, it's community, it's all friendly and loving, and therefore we don't need a leader because we all get on and we can do whatever we want. And you say, oh, okay, cool, so I, 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 I like that, that sounds great, we all do whatever we want, we don't need a government. Um, I'm going to do something that I'd like and specialise, and you do whatever you like and specialise, and we'll, we'll trade, and hopefully then if you, you really like what I'm doing then you can give me a lot of your stuff and I'll give you a lot of my stuff. But then we'll have too much stuff of each other's and we could do with trading with other people who, who like it. So why don't we have some intermediate currency that works so that we can work around and whoever's good at these things and likes to do these things. Um, they'll of course be more rewarded because people like what they're doing and um, you know we, we should encourage them to do so. And at that point they go, no, 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 no that's capitalism and not communism. So like, okay, so why don't I get to do these things I'm good at and help people out more so why don't I get to spread the the wealth and the, the, the fortune that I'm creating by giving these opportunities to other people and I've, I've yet to hear an answer to that other than apparently it's exploiting even though it isn't or some would say well, well no at that point it would be taken by the government but the government doesn't exist so, oh right yes Okay, in, in that case, if the government doesn't exist, um, you know, if, if you don't, if you're not sharing it all around and you're actually uh, trying to build something up, then we're going to have to uh, intern you and remove your freedom. So, oh, right, so this whole thing of communism and everybody living together happily sounds pretty violent pretty quickly, doesn't it? 
So I'm sick of this shit. So yeah, the mask slips very quickly. There's people trying to say, oh, communism, it should be so peaceful. So okay, let's have a quick scenario. Give it a few seconds. And um, yeah, suddenly it's not. So dozens of people, some wearing masks and scarves to cover their faces, were seen being restrained and told to move back by officers. The two green anti-capitalist front events happened during their week of action, with them telling supporters online that it's time to fight back for the planet. The planet doesn't need your help, it'll be fine, you're thinking of humans. Why do you want to save humans when you want them to be sterilised? I don't understand. Video filmed outside the London Stock Exchange showed activists releasing blue smoke into the streets and trying to push towards a line of city London officers. Yes. Has there been any actual pushback against these guys? No, of course not, because the government is complicit into it. Other videos revealed the officers pushing the protesters back in an effort to keep control of the demo and the crowd at a distance. But in mind, Sadiq Khan is mayor throughout all of this, and therefore he's going to try and keep it on the, on the down low and not allow anything to happen. As demonstrators tried to get close to the building, several officers shouted, move back, before having to push at the activists. While now the club clip... An officer was seen shoving into a protester who was carrying a flag with a wooden pole as they tried to step close to the main action. The demonstration later moved to the Bank of England, with that part scheduled to start from 2pm and last until 6pm. Hey, I, I will join in your protest at the Bank of England, because, hey, that, that's that's thievery, that ain't capitalism. I mean, what what is the difference between the, the taxation and mugging, when it really gets down to it? That... <clears throat> You might be able to get people to agree on something to say, yes, okay, our money should be spent on that way, so we should be taxed for that. But if they agree, then you don't need a tax because people are willing to pay it. So that means that if you need a tax, it's because people aren't willing to pay it, in which case it's a mugging because you're taking their money. And if they don't, if they aren't willing to pay for it, then you're removing their freedom or hurting them. So it's just a mugging. I mean, if if you go to it on a moral standpoint, I don't think you're going to win in terms of trying to fight against taxation as theft. You have to say it that it's for the greater good and people don't know what they're spending their own money on, which isn't a moral argument at all. It's just much more Machiavellian or pragmatic. And that may very well be a winning argument, by all means. People don't know what they should spend their money on, in which case, why should they be allowed money in the first place? Why, why should these people have their freedoms if they're only going to make bad decisions? Why shouldn't it already be orchestrated for them in the first place? It's a very logical, easy extension to take into something like uh, mob rule or the elite, if you will, which is back to communism. So dozens of people marched through the street while waving flags and some were seen being restrained by police officers. Another clip filmed during the rockets appeared to show a police officer being hit by something thrown by a protester. Yeah, consider this in contrast to anything which is supposed to be a right-wing protest or, or march or talk or anything. Um, it's got the gun rallies in Virginia, I think it was, in, in America recently, um, with nobody except one of the, the protesters um, who wasn't on the side of gun rights but actually wanted them to screw up their gun rights. Uh, he was the only one arrested out of thousands, if not tens of thousands of people there. Meanwhile, you've got these guys who have never been in a proper fight and don't know how to fight at all, and you've got apparently just dozens of them, and yet they're already having run-ins with the police. It's ridiculous. I, I don't see how we can let this happen so much, and yet come down so hard on the so-called right wing. So the officer fell to the ground and was seen to by their colleagues while three other policemen pushed back protesters. As tensions rose, the officers waved their batons and kicked out of the activists, all while a larger group protested behind them. Yes, this is the state of London. So, the flies that they had going around joined the rally against capital. The planet is under attack. We are living through the destruction of the earth and the lives of billions. We know what is causing this destruction, the people who get disgustingly rich while knowing that they are destroying the future for everybody. Sounds like you're not a fan of big government there. They ignore the struggle of the global south while stealing resources to pad their pockets. It's about time we said no more. I mean, while using slave shop fabricated clothing and phones. It's just all a cliche at this point. It's all... It's all the same that these people are virtue signaling so much while being their own worst enemy through the actions that they're doing saying oh we're supposed to be peaceful while they're starting fights just all such a shit show this is this is clown world at its finest surely at this point you've got to go what, what the f fuck are you on about you can see why people tend to meet speech with violence they have people like this and you go like, what, what, what the fuck it's like you, you need a good slap just to understand that 
you're way out of place. You don't understand how the real world works and you need to settle the fuck down, mate. But hey, it can't be violent. <laughs> Unless they do it first, in which case, yeah, self-defense, go for it. So the group later tweeted, as part of the climate strike Fridays for Future today, we went to the stock exchange to shut down their profiteering from the climate crisis. And Fridays for Future is the movement which Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg founded, with the teenager being in Bristol for a march today. Yes, the poor teenager was paraded around by her parents. She ain't going to have much of a future because if she tries to do anything later, this will follow her, just like other teenage activists and young activists and normally vulnerable young women because they're more tear-jerking, just as has happened to them. They are discarded and thrown away. I mean, as, as with young male activists as well, sure. It's just they don't have as big much of a, a pull. Someone like David Hogg, for example, he's pretty much been discarded already even though it's only been a couple of years, if that, since he was uh, up in arms, maybe that's the wrong word to use, up in arms about school shooting and some gun ownerships. So, yep, same thing with Greta Thunberg. She's going to be fucked over as well before too long. So I, I sympathize with her um, and would advise not to listen to the inane rumblings of a child. And why the hell would you think, oh, we've, we've been doing this for so long, we don't know what we're doing. Um, so this, this child is going to save us and make her look as young as possible because we want to be saved by this angel. It's like, are you thinking Joan of Arc? Is that where you're going with this? You want Greta Thunberg to be Joan of Arc? Because we all know how that ended. So they finish off with some more photos of the scenes there and people, of course, in their scarves and hoods and face masks and all that. And I don't mean because of the coronavirus. And oh, if, if only that neat on the back said LARP, that, that would that would work so well. To quote Sargon, um, that you've got these people LARPing as neats, LARPing as revolutionaries. That's it, isn't it? So yes, live action role playing as revolutionaries. That's the idea. But it's it's the same old shit. Until there is really stomp on skull policies, anything like that, this is going to continue. And seeing as the government ain't going to do anything about it, I really do think it is time that ordinary denizens of the public, like yourself and myself, basically say, well, hey, if you're causing damage to us, our property, our loved ones, then we're going to return it in kind. Because it, it's gone on for, for rather too long. And they are legitimately trying to destroy our way of living. They are legitimately trying to make it more difficult for us. They are legitimately trying to <laughs> almost starve us to death, really given that they don't want us to have anything that the civilized societies have historically created in order to make life easier. And we're releasing this carbon back into the atmosphere, which the plants are loving. They're like, oh, it's so sad. It's been buried for millions of years. Thank you for bringing it back up. We're loving this. And they want us to go back to the Stone Age, which is um, all for them. Go ahead. Go do what you want to do. But if you try and force your views on me, then um, I will I will defend myself and I greatly suggest it for everybody else because I've said for quite a long time now, just to wrap up here, that you've got basically four different types of people and when you're trying to explain something and I recommend going through it in this order. You've got people that you need to speak simply to because they don't understand difficult words or to topics then you've got people who are more snooty and therefore you need to elaborate and use an extensive vocabulary in order to garner the respect for your coherence. And then you've got the people who think that you don't know what you're talking about if you're not confident enough and insulting to them, give a bit of that banter back and forth to show that you're someone worth listening to. And then finally, you've got someone who thinks you don't know what you're talking about if you're not willing to defend it with blood, sweat and tears and you're actually going to get physical and therefore they, they need a good beating in order to listen because otherwise they don't respect you at all. So I recommend going through that order. Be simple, be complex, be offensive, be, be violent. That's the order. And it seems like with these people who try to be simple, say, <laughs> you're wrong. Try to be more complex to explain the complexities behind why they're wrong. We've then just insulted them to say, well, you're, you're a pissant, you're stupid, you're a <laughs> oh, you're a weasel. And at that point, I think it's now got to the last one. It's got to four or four. 
it seems that all they're going to listen to is is violence. They think that might is right. They think that they should be able to force their views upon other people. And I think it's about time we said, uh, no, it's not. No, no, you don't get to force your view on other people. Um, because if you're coming in with that attitude, there is always going to be someone stronger than you. And most likely, the strongest person is not the one who's going to start the fight. Because they're confident enough in themselves. So if you start a fight, <laughs> don't start with the right wingers. Because, hey, as we've said before... We're the, the sensible type who take responsibility and therefore train. So if you want it, come at it. But for everybody else, until next time, have a good one.